Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Weekend with Rain Cane. I'm Brian, host of the show, co-founder of Rain Cane, and today we have a special edition of Weekend with Rain Cane where I normally bring you guys a new fun cocktail to hopefully inspire your Weekend with Rain Cane drinks. But some of you have been bothering me about using ice from my fridge and not using clear ice. Um, so let's go ahead and take our cocktail game to the next level and uh, make some clear ice to put in our cocktails. I couldn't decide which one of these to buy. Uh, these are, so these are the top four clear ice makers on Amazon that are just manual. It's not a machine, obviously, but um, I didn't know which one I wanted to get, and I thought, wow, I'll just turn it into kind of a review video for those of you that are also interested in this. Four of them, as you can see, only three of them ended up making it into my freezer to make it to make clear ice with. This one, clearly frozen, takes fourth place, uh, and I'll show you why. Uh, just the quality of this one, I was like, why would I even include this one or, or make ice with it? It's just a foam box with an open tray on top, and I just thought. It's just so poor quality compared to the others. This one just automatically takes fourth place. I don't care about the quality of the ice it makes or you know, just, I don't wanna deal with it. Plus, I did actually fill it up with water and then I ended up spilling water all over my counter with it because uh, it's just flimsy. So anyway, fourth place. Okay, on to the next three. Right, so for those of you wondering how the heck these things make clear ice instead of cloudy ice cubes with a bunch of bubbles trapped in the middle, it has to do with the, basically an ice chest or a cooler is around the bottom and then nothing's on top or very little that is like silicone. And then it can only freeze from basically one direction from the top down, which then makes all the bubbles rise out. Something like that. <laughs> it's all about where the cold air comes in. They're all a little bit different designs. This one makes two, this one makes four, this one makes two. Just based off of when I was filling them up with water and from that experience, filling them up with water, putting them in the freezer, this one was the worst. And here's some uh, proof of why. There is an ice puddle on the bottom of that. I don't know if you can see it. And then there is also a gigantic ice puddle on top. Uh, and in the instructions it says you have to break it open and discard of the excess ice. So we'll have fun with that. Uh, this one was pretty cool. The design, it makes four of them. Um, the only thing I didn't really like about this is that it's like open air, like a normal ice cube tray that you would use in your freezer um, if you use one of those. And uh, the reason I don't like that is because if you have a full freezer like I do, then a bag was sitting on top of this. So uh, I did not like that. And then this one, I thought this was the best designed one. It only makes two ice cubes instead of this one making four. But you can see the puddle that it leaves is very, very small. There's not even, barely even a puddle on that one. So in terms of design, this one wins. Now it's all about the quality of the ice cube, the size of the ice cube, and is it actually clear? Let's go ahead and break these out. First one, simple taste. Again, it said to use the handles, break the cubes, and then discard extra ice. Okay. filled with uh, ice in the bottom. So I don't know how that's gonna compare to the other ones, but. Now we're gonna do the true cube. Not sure how they want you to pull this one out. Oh my 
gosh. This is not easy. <laughs> Those, I don't know, am I supposed to pull the whole thing or just the top? Okay, just the top. Well, again, this one is full of uh, ice and water in the bottom, but we have, we have four cubes. So let's go ahead and pop one of those out. It's kind of cool to see a cube. This one does look like it has some bubbles in the bottom, maybe? Now the last one, which I think will be the number one winner, but let's see how easy it is to open up. And I've liked the design so far, so... Hmm. I don't know if that plastic part is supposed to come out or not. Okay, this is eh, easier than the blue one. Whoa! Okay, well, they all have a little bit of water and ice in the bottom, but that uh, is not cool. Okay, so this one did not make perfect cubes, and I didn't do anything special with the others to make them perfect cubes, or spheres. Um, Plus one of these has a an air bubble in it. And air bubbles in the bottom. So, wow. I thought I was gonna like this one the most, but unfortunately it has not produced the most perfect sphere. Most perfect clear ice. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for the weekend with Rain Cane cocktail, we have Rain Cane with a sugarcane stick. The reason I'm doing this is because we're gonna hopefully get a super clear ice cube and then we'll be able to see right through the ice and the sugarcane stick will be there as a test to see how clear we can see right through it. See through to the sugarcane stick. Thankfully I got uh, just a few more rain cane bottles laying around. And I'm gonna be having three drinks tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, fresh bottle. Looks like the Berlinzo one is the clearest. Well, I don't know, it's upside down. Let's fix that. Yeah, I would say it's still the clearest. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we can have a summary of this video real quick. So. Uh, I would be choosing the cube one as first place because it's it's not as clear as the Berlinzo, but it's still pretty clear and it makes four cubes. Um, but the only problem is it was pretty difficult to get out of this thing. But this one doesn't produce perfect spheres. This one did not produce clear ice. That is a cloudy ice ball in there. Between these two, I guess the last one is price. Black Berlinzo one is 60 bucks on Amazon, and this blue cube one is 45. Taking everything into consideration, the open face of the cubes versus the closed design, the struggle to get the cubes out versus this one was a little bit easier, still a bit of a struggle, this one doesn't produce perfect cubes. Uh, they both had air pockets on the bottom, making them not a perfect circle. This one, they're square. Hard to mess up a square, I guess. Um, but the cubes were good. Um, and they were both about the same on clarity of ice cubes. So I think the only tiebreaker that I could really give to these two is the price and the Berlinzo, or sorry, yeah, the Berlinzo is $15 more expensive, and it only produces two cubes at a time. I think that makes this blue cube one the winner, which is a little bit unfortunate because I like the closed design of this one. I just wish that this one made perfectly round uh, spheres. Maybe it does. Maybe I'm just a novice at using these things but I didn't have any issues with the other two, so I'm gonna go ahead and say this is the winner.
45 bucks, makes four cubes at a time, which is cool. That's it for the video. I know it's November. I should be making holiday themed cocktails, but uh, I know a lot of you guys like to drink your cocktails neat anyway. So, a little sugar cane stick in there. It's all we need sometimes. Cheers, hope you guys enjoy your weekend with rain cane, and I will see you guys next weekend. Thanks for tuning in, and I, uh, I hope you like the little change up, a little different than just a cocktail, right? All right. Amazing how much that sugar cane is. That sugar cane stick's been sitting in there for a few minutes, has completely changed the taste. Get some sugar cane sticks. I've told you before, they've become our number two item on the website for a reason. If you haven't tried them yet, they're free with three bottles of rain cane or more, free gift option. So highly, highly suggest it if, uh, if you're into sugary things. So anyway, cheers. See you guys next weekend.